Her what? Yes, I said the police is here. I have already done that. Can't you stop the alarm from your side? We have everything we need. Let's go. Excuse me. Sorry to keep you waiting, Jane. It's all right. No worries at all. Here yeah, are uh, the documents for you to sign. Letter of agreement, letter of engagement. Oh, sorry. Administrative matter, administrative matter, and more administrative matters. You know, Jane, I'm really glad that the committee offered you the fellowship. I hear nothing but good things about you. Thank you, Mr. Prava. I consider myself very lucky to be chosen among the other applicants. And humble too. You're with Wong and Associates for a year? Two years after being called to the bar. Yeah, I almost forgot. Starting from today, your fellowship acceptance letter for your sabbatical application. That won't be necessary, Mr. Prava. Wong and Associates doesn't allow sabbaticals for junior lawyers, so I've resigned. Oh. I believe pro bono work will help me develop as a lawyer and as a person. It's way more valuable than dealing with commercial clients or for monetary gains. I'm honoured to represent the underrepresented and to ensure justice exists for all. Wow. Someone finally quoted my interview. <laughs> I'm inspired by you, sir. Please, call me Prabha. And welcome to the law community. Thank you, Mr. Prabha. The pantry is over there. Compliments of the law firms that sponsor our establishment. This is Kenny, Willie, and this is Sue. <laughs> She's one of our senior advocates. Hi. She'll be supervising all new fellows. If you have any questions... Feel free to bother me anytime. Uh, okay, I have assigned you your first case. It's a Section 380 charge. Theft in dwelling. I'm confident I can handle the case. Great. Sue will get you going. My door is always open. Get going. The accused is Madam Lee, 70 years of age. Third shoplifting charge within a span of two weeks. She had already pleaded guilty and the court will be scheduled in three days. So just a mitigation plea then? Should be something you can handle. Mmm, nice pen. Thanks. You might want to consider switching to something simple, like this one. It's less intimidating for our clients. Yes, of course. Hi, darling. How's your first day of work? Ugh, tiring. So many admin matters. Mm, just want to go back to So, how's the office? Old. Definitely understaffed. It's so different from Wong and Associates. Well, they are sponsored by large law firms. What do you expect? Have they assigned you any cases yet? Just a mitigation plea for a shoplifter. She's 70 years old. Still a court case. It's just... not what I imagined for a fellowship so highly sought after. Look, you've made the right decision. This fellowship will gain you way more experience than staying at Wong & Associates, or my firm. I know. I know. And more importantly, Prabha has strong connections, including Rashid. The Rashid? From Lee and Rashid. Do your best. Impress Prabha. What? She's gonna make a good lawyer. She deserves to be recognized. You don't have to impress anyone, darling. But remember, you have a duty to act in your client's best interest.
Start next week. I'm so sorry, Baba. Okay, okay. It's a good thing that you got head and tied. What about the law and social program? <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll I'll find a replacement. Hey, come on. It's Berkeley and Partners. <laughs> okay. Miss Jane Liu? Yes. Do you have a court order or any official documents for the inquiry? Yes, but I can only share it with the officer in charge. You can show it to me. <sighs> Look, do you know when he or she will be available? I need to be somewhere else soon. Me too. I have a meeting in 30 minutes. You're from Law Community? You can call the number on the card if you want. It says here she received aid for her medical bills and she's unable to work due to her illness. An old age. But her financial assistance got cancelled two months ago. Is this accurate? Yeah. Why? Her son got a raise, barely exceeding the maximum household income for the eight. She lives in a two-room rental flat with her son, daughter-in-law and granddaughter. What's the maximum income to qualify for the aid? That's not enough for all four of them. Enough to put food on the table. Not enough for medical bills. Look, we're not here to spoon feed them, but to assist them to get back on their feet. But sometimes people still fall through the cracks. So the system is flawed. Miss Jane Liu, nothing is perfect. And what are you implying? I'm not. I'm just trying to find out the factors amounting to her crimes. Her intention plays a part in this mitigation plea. And she didn't share that with you? About to. So you investigate your clients even before you talk to them? Thanks for your help, Arif. Jane, I'll be representing you as the defense counsel under the legal aid scheme. Sorry, Miss. Defend what? Ah? I will be your lawyer to help you with your charges. But I never asked for a lawyer, leh. You have requested for a defense counsel under the legal aid scheme. Your record shows this is your third offence of the same crime within a period of two weeks. You were issued an unconditional stern warning for the first and a DNA TA for the second. Your upcoming sentencing will include both your current and previous charges, which carries an imprisonment term that may extend up to seven years and a fine. Do you understand? Uh, yes. I need to know your intention for shoplifting so I can draft out a mitigation plea. Why did you steal these? Oh, I already told the policeman. It looks nice, so I want it. Lor. You 
You want a Qphone Elite Pro? Uh, yes. Look, I know you didn't shoplift these for your own use. You don't even know what a Qphone is. Of course I know. My granddaughter are very into this gadget gadget thing. She got to tell me. She asked you to steal it for her? No, no, she don't know anything. Madam Lee, you're not helping. Why did you steal these? Because, because she liked all these things. I just want to surprise her. She don't know anything, one. So not for monetary gains then? Uh, no. If I may address Your Honor on my submissions. Hold on. Defense mitigation? Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> in mitigation, I ask that Your Honor consider a term of one week's imprisonment. Similar to her previous charges, the accused reveals that she only took those items to please her granddaughter and not for monetary gains. Now, while this does not mitigate her actions, we should acknowledge the fact that we are putting in our best efforts to help the disadvantaged. And it's our privilege to show compassion. Unless I may be of further assistance, these are our submissions. All right, passing sentence. I've taken into consideration that you pleaded guilty at the earliest opportunity. Based on previous similar cases, your sentence is seven days imprisonment backdated to... When was she arrested? Prosecution, when was she arrested? 10th January 2022, Your Honour. Is the date correct? Uh, yeah, yes, Your Honour. 10th January 2022. Sentence, seven days imprisonment backdated to the date of arrest, 10th January 2022. And prosecution, it's a torture to read your sentence submission. Refer to Miss Jane's mitigation plea. You might learn a thing or two. Great work, Jane. And you did all the necessary due diligence. Ah. And I see you've met Arif. A very helpful and friendly guy. Ah, good to know. Uh, Jane, you're missing the client's testimonial. It's not optional. You'll need it for the appraisal at the end of a fellowship. Got it. I'll get it done by the end of the day. Uh, Jane. I have a proposal. Uh, it might not be exactly what you signed up for. I mean, the fellowship. Uh-huh. We are commencing on a new initiative real soon. It's known as the Law and Social Program. I've read about it. A collaborative partnership between lawyers and social service workers. The committee has appointed Kenny to represent the law community. But unfortunately, uh, he has to attend to some personal matters at the last minute. Usually, we offer these opportunities to senior fellows, but I think you have the potential and you deserve a chance at it. And we could use with a little publicity ourselves. I'm... The people's defender. I'm jealous. <laughs> would you consider being the face of the law and social program? I'm sure she has her own reasons for not coming home. It's okay. Relax. It's okay. Nice to see you again. She's not at home. But she just got released this afternoon. She hasn't come home for two weeks. You know where I might find her? Did you find out her intentions for your mitigation plea? Yes, she did it for her granddaughter. What else can it be? 
Never mind. Privileged people like you won't understand. Hey, you don't know me. And whatever it is, I got her out of jail. You said it so yourself. We don't spoon feed, we help them get back on their feet. Usually cases like this don't get any attention from the media. I wonder what's so special this time around. And what are you implying? Like you said, intention is important. People's defender. So you know where to find her? Maybe. Thank you, huh, Arif. Madam Lee, hmm? I know the real reason why you shoplift. What you mean, ah? Huh? Getting yourself into prison for food and health care is not the solution. I... I just... Can you please don't tell Gun? Please? I won't. But you have to give your son a chance. It's all my fault. All my fault that he has to pay my medicine. It's not your fault, Madam Lee. In fact, he's blaming himself even more because you're thinking that way. Don't want to be his burden. I don't want to be his burden. <laughs> You're not a burden, Madam Lee. Remember, you raised him up on your own, you know? And you know what he told me? It's now his turn to take care of you. But you have to have confidence in him. He just got himself a race. But he needs time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. How'd you know she'd be at the store? It's near the state courts. So... If you have no money and limping, how far can you travel? <laughs> it's the same store that she went to. How did I miss that? What are you trying to prove? Excuse me? You got your pre-written testimonial, you informed the media, and you got yourself labelled as the people's defender. What do you mean, I informed? Yeah, I got my sources too. Are you trying to impress someone? I'm so glad that people are still talking about Madam Lee's case. It's been some time since the press media was interested in pro bono cases. I mean, it could be because of Jane. I wish I looked younger in photographs. Uh, gotta thank my parents for it. That must be him. Let me introduce our representative from the social services, Arif Osman of the Law and Social Program.
And this creates an environment where lawyers can learn and practice empathic listening techniques which will be effective during interviews. And social workers can understand the implications of the legal system on their clients. Arif, can I take a picture of you and Jane together? Sure. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Prabha. Thank you. I hope you got what you need. Yep, thank you. Very nice to meet you, Jane. Nice to meet you too. Arif, is there anything else you would like to add to the article? Yes, I do. I'd like to state that I have the utmost respect for social workers like Arif. It's an absolute privilege to be a part of the Law and Social Program. I'm committed to learn and reflect both as a lawyer and also as a servant of the public. I have something to add too. Privilege is invisible to those who have it. But that doesn't mean we can lend a helping hand to those less privileged. It's my honour to learn from you too, Jane. Looking forward to our fruitful partnership. Oh, can I take a photo of that too? Thank you.